Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to IRL Yu-Gi-Oh! Today we are here with Rafael Neffen, who won the very first local ever. Uh, we are 1.5 meters apart, um, as is everyone in the tournament right now. And uh, you won the first tournament. Congratulations. You're, uh, it's good to be back. <laughs> you have the most credentials out of everyone right now. Really nice. So what deck did you play? played um, the best deck on the song. The Zell and Friends. Salaman Great. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. It's a new format, new cards, new meta, and Raphael's playing Salaman yeah, Great. New format, old cards. Old cards. So uh, show us all your spice. Alright. Um, I'm also just pretty debug. Uh, in my article on Dubious Academy, I also played uh, Former Skipper. Um, but uh, five, six normals is a bit much. Buffalo is at least not good enough anymore. You really need to uh, be able because of access code. This you need to like have a normal summon that actually gets you to access code. Buffalo, I love Buffalo, but it's just not uh, viable anymore to just draw those two random cards. Um, the form is too fast for that, sadly. Um, so just three debugs then. Best card ever printed. <laughs> no. Gazelle. <laughs> Gazelle. And then his friends. Um, one Falco, still fine. Two Foxy, two Jack, and two Spinny. I took this uh, ratio from Gabriel Sousa's list from the PPG. The only thing, like, I changed some things I didn't like. And one of the things I'm still not sure about is the second Foxy. Uh, because because the format is so fast, I don't really like. I want to have a small Sadman Great lineup. Um, my friend Luke Parsi, who played like. Four, seven, five, seven, my great cards in his deck. And just really small, yeah. yeah, because it's like if you, if you open like too much of these, you just you don't have enough to, to stop your opponent with like an emancipate or the sync or elvish version. Those decks are just too fast. So playing like a lot of like monsters, real monsters, not hand traps, is a bit uh, a bit scary. So this is the like the, the maximum I would play. I wouldn't play more. What and a time then, um, to be alive. Yeah. This card's really good. Uh, brings a lot to the deck, not only for the for the easy. Uh, Dweller or the Guska access, but just like the extra two bodies just really help in going to a crazy place. Like it's a really good extender. Even if you um, if you're already used to like if you're already used to um, or if you're unlucky and like to our desire, even like just the one extra summon, uh, it's really helpful, it's a really good card in this deck. Uh, of course, everyone played it, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy that that's come out. So for the hand traps, three uh, ash, three beer, uh, just two hands. The first one is in the side deck. This is 41 or 42, so I don't want to like go okay. too crazy on the on, uh, on the race on the main mount cards. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so Casual 12 this, hand traps. This this hand, uh, I mean, this deck is just like gazelle uh, featuring hand traps. Yeah. Or hand traps featuring gazelle. So. Like uh, because like against uh, the combo deck you sorry I'm a bit tired. I guess the combo deck you really need at least two <laughs> different hand traps otherwise you're just not gonna win uh, the game one or yeah exactly you know, in general so Guardian Appaloosa Herald like, yeah, one so, hand trap's not enough yeah exactly so you need at least two different ones um, that's why this is not really overkill and because you have uh, if you have the free debug Zell and this is the signed mind the circle I'll give you the one card. Because these are all one card access code talkers in this yeah. game. So it doesn't really matter that the rest of your hand is four hand trips as long as you have one of the or one of the like Yeah, access to the Salomon Great cards and that's yeah, all you need. As, as soon as you have one of these it's game, which is crazy because this is Salomon Great. Like this is that you used to like not being able to out losses, but now you can like make game of one card. So the rest of your hand should be cards that are solely like there to stop the combo. Yeah, exactly. If you have to go second. Yeah. Even no, but also like going first, these are just really good. Yeah, exactly. They are very impressive. Additional things your opponent needs to play through. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so the extenders, uh, not, still not really a big fan of Will, but because of access code, like. Uh, it's really good when you like try to force back with, with Heat Leo and then it gets negated and you miss sponsor so you have the extenders. <laughs> Rebo is so sick. I, I think I do Rebo a lot today. Uh, but yeah, these are really good extenders. Um, like every card that helps you make access code is really important right now. That's the only thing this deck can do to win. Access code turbo. Yeah. Uh, three desires. Uh, Consistency cards. Not really much to say about that, yeah. And what really can it's you like, banish? I, yeah, like that, and um, it's not even that bad if you banish like the like one of these or two of these. It's like it's whatever. And if you banish Gazelle, that's the only one that really hurts. 
Like, that's the only thing. But even then, like, you, yeah. There are so much starters, you, you know. If you have, like, your, your starters plus an extender, you don't need Gazelle to do access code. Extender. True. So, but yeah, that's the only one. Because it's only one card, that's really, like, it hurts. Like, even this, like, it's annoying, but it's, it doesn't, like, lose the game. And this deck is just too fair to, uh, to play without a card that's a plus one. Like, you really need any, every additional power card. And like, this deck is just not that powerful, so it needs that stuff. Yeah. Sign in, and then one of the traps. So, one of the things I didn't like about Sousa's list, um, I love the guy, by the way, he's my friend, but like, one, of the guy, I, one of the things I didn't like was that he played multiple traps. Because uh, I think the form is just too combo heavy, and like, I just don't want to lose the game one if I go second, so I just don't want to have too many bad cards when I go second. Like this is all already arguably like you need one of these, but if you if you judge too many too many traps going second, you're just gonna lose. So yeah, you don't don't want to risk like multiple yeah, so cards. So I mean like the minimum amount of traps. Seems fair. Uh, extra deck. Uh, three access code, that's it. That's <laughs> Uh, Shout out to the boys. Also, this is still in there for like four, three months ago. I don't know if you would play this right now. But that's a flexible, I guess. So for Cyrus, Transco, the update in there. That makes the deck That's right so now. strong, yeah. Yeah, the card is insane. Um, then, uh, I still play Kida. I really like Kida. Especially because so many decks play Ash. Like, it just makes extension plays. Uh, Builds to Axis really, as well. Yeah, you mean really bad hands. You can uh, use its second effect to search Gazelle. Like, it's, it's there, it's really, it's so really good. Uh, it's also like, you feel insane in the mirror, even though that's not really a relevant matchup right now. Well, after this, everyone's gonna <laughs> play it. <laughs> best local, best salad fine. cards. Yeah, yeah salad cards. Uh, to Leo. Say about that. Um, and then these, like, they're still like insane. Well, of course, Grove and Bagus guys are really good. Uh, With XC Dragon as well, right it's just so strong now. Yeah, like you can actually consistently make, like, back in the day, you need to open really well for Salamagrade to make these, and now it's like, I like fairly well. Yeah, I drew this card, so now no, I can. Yeah, exactly. So, really good as well. Uh, is not. I took most of that from Sushi. I think I changed some things. Like, I, the Ghost Ogres were like, okay, I drew once and it didn't matter, but uh, I'm not sure. So the first is Esme, uh, for Cyclone, we'll always side this, uh, Red Reboot. I just don't like trap decks and you, you can like hit the other stuff away anyway. So, uh, I play free v uh, for back row with slow cards. Yeah, it's the Netherlands as well. So. And I, when I go first, I play five. Floodgates, so, nice. Yeah. Like I said, this deck really needs every advantage you can get because it's so fair. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't have like, like so I, difficult I combos. I mean this because I because it's locals, but in a, in a more established like, tournament, if you know you're going to play against four eight enemies, for LH. You can probably mean it. Um, but yeah, that's that's. Uh, so, is there any reason you pick this deck over one of those decks? Or? <laughs> don't have the <laughs> don't have most of the cards. I saw Fair enough. It. No, but like, uh, yeah, I mean, next week I'm probably gonna play uh, a mass. So like, like those decks are always the best decks in the format. But uh, this is a good like. Yeah. Meta deck. And for the first local, you know, it's it's fine. Okay, do Weird. a quick shoutouts to um, yeah. Team Jover. Uh, like your Facebook, etc. That's the best team. Uh, my lo my other locals, Yugi One. Um, my friend sponsor, Look on the Bone, for your uh, Japanese Jap deck boxes and uh, really cool uh, sleeves. So, of course, uh, do this academy, Yugi Oh coaching. So, uh, check us out if that's something for you. Subscribe on Patreon. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Buy from Rafael on Card Market, and that's it. Thank you, Rafael. Yeah. See you next time.